Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and we are going to crochet a Nutcracker hat. How cute is this? All right, super customizable. I'm gonna have a pattern written out for you in multiple sizes. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and make a baby size right now together, just so I can show you on camera. So get your Red Heart Super Saver yarn out. Um, I got, you know, black, red. Um, this one is really great kind of nutcracker skin tone, I guess. Uh, this is um, Aaron color yarn and this is oatmeal color yarn for the nose. Um, again, kind of use what you have on hand. So you're gonna just need a little bit of white, a little bit of pink, a little bit of the yellow as well. Got my size H crochet hook. This is my little Christmas hook from the Clay Bean Company. Thank you guys so much. Um, scissors, two little black buttons uh, for the eyes. I think these are about a half inch. And your tapestry needle, of course. So let's just put this off to the side. Let's grab the black yarn. That's what we're gonna be starting with and get to it, right? All right, so uh, you're gonna take your crochet hook. We're going to go ahead and do a magic ring. Chain two. And then we're going to go ahead and make 11 double crochets inside this magic ring. Let's try and see if we can get some yarn going here. All right. One, two, Pull tight. Next, we're going to join, chain two, and we're gonna make two double crochets in each stitch round. So two double crochets in the first stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, and continue on all the way around. Join. Ah. Chain two. Now for the third round, we're going to make two double crochets in the first stitch, and double crochet in the next. Okay, all the way around. So two double crochets. Sorry, guys. And one double crochet in the next. Two double crochets. And then one double crochet. Okay. All the way around. Okay. Let's go to our fourth round. Okay, so we're gonna chain two. We're gonna make two double crochets in the first stitch. That's one. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay, it's 
two double crochets in first stitch, double crochet in the next two. All right, two double crochets. And then double crochet in the next two. All right, all the way around. All right, let's go ahead and start on our fifth round. So for this one, we're gonna change it up a little bit. So I've already chained two. We're gonna make two double crochets in the first stitch. Okay, so it's two double crochets. And then we're gonna double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're gonna make two more double crochets in the same stitch and then double crochet in the next 10. Repeat that all the way around. All right, meet you at the end of the round. All right, so I just finished the fifth round and we're just gonna go ahead and start on the sixth and seventh round. And really all you have to do uh, for this little baby hat here, this baby nutcracker hat, is to um, double crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds. So super simple. Um, you're just with the black yarn, you're just going to go ahead and um, double crochet in each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of the uh, seventh round. All right, so we are at the seventh round, um, just actually finished the seventh round, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now it is time to um, clip off the black yarn here. And then we are gonna go ahead and join in um, with our cream colored yarn. So really all you need to do is take your strand and join it in. Okay, super easy. There are no increase um, stitches. So we're just gonna chain two and we're gonna go ahead and double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so really easy. We're just gonna um, double crochet um, all the way around. All right, so I actually have um, five rows of the cream colored yarn, and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring in the red yarn for the last two rows. Oh, this is a new skein of yarn, so of course I'm gonna to pull a little but I'm just gonna show you as we did before we're just going to join in the red yarn okay kind of slip stitch that in we're gonna chain two we're gonna make a full round of double crochets in the red and then for the last round we are going to do just with the red, instead of double crochets, we're gonna make single crochets. So one round of double crochets in the red and one round of single crochets in the red, and I will meet you at the end of the hat, and then we will add our embellishments. All right, let's add some embellishments to our Nutcracker hat. I am using Red Heart Super Saver yarn, but of course you could use um, really whatever worsted weight yarn you have on hand. And I say that because you really only need little bits of all these colors. So don't go out and buy new skeins of yarn. If you don't have to use what you have on hand, if you do need to buy new yarn, I love the Red Heart Super Saver brand. You can absolutely go ahead and buy that on yarnspirations.com. So let's go ahead and start with the little um, yellow kind of 
um, I don't know what you call this. Let me grab my little nutcracker here. Um, little strap on the hat. How about that? Um, so it's in this kind of yellow gold color and we're just going to use the surface slip stitch to uh, create this look. Now on the sneak peek I showed on Facebook, I actually had slip stitched it right here um, along where the black meets the cream yarn. But on a further inspection of my nutcracker, I noticed that it actually sits a little bit higher. So I went ahead and made it about two rows up. You could do one row. We'll just go ahead. I'm just going to go one row up on this one. And I always go to the back of the hat where my seam is to join it in. So again, I'm just one row up here on my black rounds. And I'm, I have inserted my hook and I'm just going to grab the yarn, loop it into my hook here. I have my working strand that I'm kind of trying to hold and you're just going to make a surface slip stitch. Let's see if I can do this on camera here. Okay. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You can do this pretty loosely. Okay. Insert my hook. Kind of yarn over underneath there pull through yarn over pull through let's see if i can show you guys so i'm going to hold on insert my hook okay Yarn over, pull through, insert, yarn over, pull through. All right, see that? Okay, we're just gonna do that all the way around. It'll meet you at the end. All right, so here we are at the end of our little slip stitched um, round in yellow or gold yarn all the way around. Go ahead and weave in your ends and let's go ahead and just knock out these little cheeks. You're going to make two using pink yarn and we're going to make a magic ring. We're going to chain one and we're going to make 10 single crochets in the ring. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we're going to join to that first single crochet. And then we're going to make two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 20 single crochets. Okay, that's 20 single crochets. We're gonna go ahead and join to that first single crochet. And that's all you gotta do. Fasten off, leave a slightly long tail cause you're gonna wanna use that to um, go ahead and stitch the little cheek onto your nutcracker face. All right, so there we have that. You're gonna make a second one just like we did the first one. Let's go ahead and grab the little darker cream yarn here. Um, and we're gonna make the nose. So we are going to chain 11. So I made a slip, slip knot. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, we're gonna go ahead and 
single crochet in the first six or so second chain from hook so here's first chain second chain so you're gonna make six single crochets that was one two three four five and six okay half double crochet in the next two ah. one two all right double crochet in the last two All right, that's it. Fasten off again, leave kind of a long tail. Pull that through. Kind of pull your yarn tight there as needed. All right. We have our little nose piece. Again, it can completely overlap if needed, kind of that black part of the hat. Um, if you need to make it smaller, just um, don't chain as many. But there we go with the little nose piece. All right, let's grab the black yarn and let's make the little mustache. All right, let's go ahead and make the mustache. We are going to chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We are going to slip stitch in the second chain from hook, single crochet in next, half double crochet in next, double crochet plus half double crochet all in the next stitch. Then we're gonna make a single crochet and a slip stitch. Okay, then we're gonna make a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet plus a half double crochet on the same stitch. Then we're gonna make a half double crochet, single crochet, and a slip stitch in the last. Oops. we have it. Oh, you guys see that mustache? Clip off your yarn. Where's our little nose? I know all the ends, you can't really see that well. So I like to just kind of, when you stitch it on, don't make a frown. Don't make a frowny mouth. Make a, make a smiley mustache, okay? So when you stitch it on, kind of stitch it like this with the nose. All right. Now, real quick, um, you want to make, let's take this away. You're going to want to make some fringe here for the little nutcracker mouth, uh, beard and the little side fringe. All you got to do, you kind of clip off your white yarn. I don't know about, about 12 inches. All right. Not, you don't even need this much really, to be honest, fold in half. Okay, and then I'm gonna move this. So pretend maybe you've stitched on your face, but you haven't. So go to the side, so so have your hat. So where the um, seams in the back, here's the front, here's the sides, and you're gonna come in, I'll do this side. You're gonna come in. I'm looping the yarn under, all right? Separate that and pull your other strands through. Okay, see that? So you have a strand. So you're gonna wanna keep doing that all the way down. You really don't need, you're gonna end up trimming this yarn. So um, you're, gonna, you're gonna brush it and then you're gonna trim it. So you can use like a, um, a pet brush, um, 
or you could use, uh, where's my brushes? Here we go. Use kind of like, like a pet brush or like a fine point brush. And you're going to, you're going to trim this really short. And you can, you can brush this out to the best of your ability to kind of separate the yarn. It's not really working on my table right now, but, um, you guys kind of, kind of get it. You're going to brush it out. So you mix it a little bit fuzzy, the yarn, and then you're going to have fringe on either side. And then I just want to show you real quick. Um, the mouth is actually so fun because it's, a beard and a mouth at the same time. So you know the nutcrackers, they look like they have these little like teeth, right? So you can use the yarn to your advantage. Um, same technique as we just did. So you're gonna choose three stitches right in the middle there and you're gonna loop it um, just between those stitches, just like we did. And it's gonna create not only the kind of teeth separation that you want between the white and red yarn, but it's also gonna create a little bit of a beard. So I love this technique. Um, I love when things work out like this, you know? You can just, multiple ways to do things, you guys. So here we have it. So just loop it around in between kind of three stitches there at the bottom. So you see how we kind of have a little bit of teeth definition right there. Yet we also have a beard. Again, you're going to want to trim this depending on, you don't want this kind of sitting in anyone's eyes. So, um, you know, trim that to your liking. You can separate this yarn. Use your brush to create some little fringe there if you'd like, and you have that. Stitch everything on, and you're going to end up, oh, I forgot about the button eyes. You're going to also want to stitch on, just using your tapestry needle, two button eyes right between that nose. Okay, and it's all going to look so cute, and you're going to have yourself the most adorable nutcracker hat. Can't wait to see the finished product, repeatcraftyourme.com.